we lock eyes. And the punchline to all of this is, and that way, you can be my brother. Oh no, he's getting down from his throne. He comes down to my level, and what? Puts out his hand? He shakes my hand and whispers, thank you. And without another word, goes back up on his throne and stamps me into Bali. We are both deeply touched by the moment. Ah, I end up a lot of chips on traveling because if they put me back on the plane, <laughs> all that money wasted. And they'll... What, what are you doing back so soon, Earthman? I thought you were going <laughs> to... You know, you... Pride is <laughs> a factor, I guess. Um, yeah, that was good. That entry is good. Okay, three months in Bali. You just... Heard about Bali. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I'm flying back to California. Get stamped out of the country. Didn't overstay. Everything looks great. And that's when another dramatic glitch <laughs> comes down. When I check my bag. One big suitcase. With the Cathay Pacific baggage manager. Look it. Airlines are naturally leery of stateless people because they assume, look, you're stateless. You must be looking for a country to live in, you poor creature. Because if the country doesn't take you, the airline has to fly you back from where you got on the airplane at their expense. Mm -mm. Bad for the bottom line. Being too kind to people. Uh so the agent, he's never seen a refugee, stateless person's passport, ever. He calls his boss to come over. Finally, there's like f everybody in the baggage department. We have five people all looking at my stateless passport, which simply says travel document <laughs> yeah. on the cover. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh they asked me to explain my situation. Mm -hmm. I enlightened them. Young men, when I was your age, uh -huh. I went to prison rather than kill Asian people like you in the Vietnam War. That's how I have ended up like this. Well, the baggage man, he's, he's visibly awestruck, and I notice he's breaking out in goosebumps on his forearms. And he thanks me for not killing Asian people. Human to human connection. With your heart open. All the way. Rare. Powerful medicine. Okay, fast forward. The jet lands in San Francisco. Mm. And I am surprised. Oh, my bag is the first bag to come out from the carousel. <laughs> yeah, lucky me, huh? And when I get my bag, I notice... <laughs> my bag has been checked through as VIP. Executive first class. They like my song and dance in Bali. And they put something in the hat. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've kept this baggage tag as a priceless earth person souvenir. Bottom line. Wrap up the book here. For the last 50 years, I have walked my earth people walk. I mean, as he, in my young 20s, I took an uncompromising stand for Earth people and let the chips fall where they may. I was prepared to be quarantined, stranded in India for the rest of my life. Absolutely. 
guess what? I have never been refused entry into any nation during the last 50 years. I have never been stuck in no man's land between nations where one country checks you out, but the next country won't stamp you in. I have never been handcuffed, imprisoned, or insulted at any border crossing ever for living the earth people lifestyle that I've created for myself and that I love living. Okay, yes. I am afraid every time I'm faced with cross, uh, crossing a border. Uh, yeah. And I usually stay in the town near the border an extra day um, to sort out my spirit for what possibly could happen the next morning. Mm -hmm. What a confusing collision of energies. You know, my inner spirit's got to deal with this somehow uh, because I yearn to be as inconspicuous as possible. But my paperwork is as weird as can be. So many challenging song and dance routines at these borders has honed me into a shrewd improv performance artist. So 20 years ago, I started the Earth People Comedy Club in San Francisco, live stand-up comedy. <laughs> Why? Because I discovered it is easier to open the human heart <laughs> from belly laughing upwards. Yeah, get the belly going. Get the belly that Hearts opening. Rather than try to cram down new paradigms, cutting edge paradigms and insights, it doesn't work to try to stuff them down people's throats from the mind downwards. Well, I've enjoyed uh, hanging out with whoever you are. <laughs> Yeah, wherever you are. It's been a long journey sitting on my porch in Hawaii. <laughs> Making these video performance clips. Yeah, I've got five books. So there's like 300 clips. Of... <laughs> and uh, life is good, precious, brief, fragile. Um. No Mashivaya. May all beings be happy.